Hey everyone, so this video has been requested a couple times now and I finally got around to doing it. I am in my studio right now and I am kind of packing up my kit for a wedding that I have on Saturday, so in just a day, but I wanted to come to the studio and grab my stuff so I have it in my car ready to go for a wedding that I have and I decided to finally film this video for you guys and show you my makeup kit and what I carry in my kit. Um, as a freelance makeup artist, I've been working as a makeup artist for the last like two years, really booked. But before that, I've always worked as a makeup artist, like kind of on the side. But as of the last like two years, it's been like almost like my full time job, basically. So yeah, and I've kind of put off this video for quite some time only because I'm not the most, I wanna say that right away, not the most like organized person when it comes to my makeup kit. Like I am organized, but in my own ways and it's not very condensed. I went through this period where I was condensing my kit like crazy, but ultimately it just wasn't working for me. So this is just what's been working for me for the last like literally few months um i also just switched up my main case so this is kind of new to me and i'm still trying to figure it out but anyways enough talking i'm gonna get to it and show you guys the things that i carry with me the first kit i carry this is so heavy to hold oh my gosh is this here it's like it's the brand rebel it's like the backpack i had like the case originally for like two years and it was amazing i love that thing i still have it um and i may go back to it but this is what i purchased as of recently it's literally like the backpack it has the compartments here i put like my paper towels here just like this and then on the other side i'll usually have like my water bottle or something so the way that i carry things when i go to a wedding is this one goes on my back it's so freaking heavy you guys have no idea so i usually have this on my back like this as you can see here and the second bag i carry is this one here <laughs> and it's this clear bag as you can see and i just carry this one like this and this is everything that i'll carry to a job along with my makeup chair also because i can't live without my chair i always need my people sitting up high but so this is what i carry and let's take a look what's inside i'm trying to figure out like a good way of showing you guys but basically i like these types of bags because you can literally just come to a job and flip it over like this then you just like unzip this and you're good to go so in the very first compartment um it's like a little baby one you can like put your id in there and stuff i have just some tic tacs that i carry with me and then there's another compartment here and then this one i carry my pencil sharpener i carry these little sticky things that go on your hand like this when you're working as like a palette i have my lip balm tape for if i want like a really defined crease or not crease like winged liner i have a couple of pigment glitter and glitter glues here and then these scissors which I need to, a better place for these. I was actually just thinking of putting them in another box that I have, but I've got these in there as well. And then we open up this first compartment and that is where I keep all of my eyelashes. Well, the main thing I have here is this. Cannot live without this. I actually keep it in the first um, pouch because it doesn't fit anywhere and I want to carry the whole thing. I don't want to depot it. We've got a couple of strip lashes that I carry, my favorite ones. The rest are my individual lashes that I love and use very often on many of my clients but the cap of this one broke off sadly and then I also have this here I've cut up some other lashes that are like really really long and I've been using that I've been liking the system so far but I don't know it's not my favorite I don't think but yeah I also have that in there and then the exciting part we have the actual insides of the kit okay so in this little zip thing I have my palette that I use um, to put like products on. And then we have all of my eye brushes. Now these are all like concealer brushes that I'll use on top of the eyelid and as for and for concealer as well, this one should be here. More concealer brushes, some fluffy brushes here, more fluffy brushes, eyebrow brushes, like angled brushes, some brow pencils. We have some regular um, like pencils here, a couple of colored ones, white ones, and then some random things like the Laura Mercier like shadow stick, 
color corrector for darker skin tones. And then more brushes, more brushes, like tiny or smaller detail brushes, liner brushes. And then we have the spatula. And then a couple of more um, concealer brushes here. And then we have the actual kit and everything I have in here. Let me get the camera off the tripod real quick. Okay, like this already went out of place. I always have trouble with these. So in the first place here, I have a couple of my Dior um, palettes, highlighting and contour palette. And then I have my Bobbi Brown base that I love, this Clarins um, base that I love also for moisture, and then the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Then we have some things over here, mostly like blushes and a bronzer. So we have the, what is it called? The Bahama Mama bronzer, and then we have the Natasha Denona blush, the Dior Pinky Rosy blush, Jane Irondale blush that I love so much, and Barely Rose. Then we have this insane highlighter from Juvia's Place, and then the Milani blush in Luminoso, and then a little um, NARS blush there. In the next um, section, we have the Valentino highlighter slash blush. It looks like this. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to find the best angle of filming this. As I was saying, we have the Valentino one here, and then I have two of these setting powders from Jaclyn Hill. These are more so for like the under eyes. We have the banana brightening one and then the brightening lilac. This is more of like a purpley light lilac shade for brightening under eyes. Then we have my favorite ever setting powder from Huda Beauty in the shade Pound Cake. It is so good. Then we have a couple of cream products. I have two of these from Danessa Myricks. We have like a burgundy berry red shade and then like this like peachy nude one. These are for eyes, lips, and cheeks. You can use them really on anything. And then we have one little blush contour what's like a blush from rare beauty in the shade love in this color here so i have that in there and then is these two little compartments they're always a mess because they don't like sit there like very well i don't know how to describe it so we have my this one i use literally on everybody i find that i don't need anything else in my kit for brows it's uh the anastasia beverly hills brow powder in the shade soft brown it is so good then in that little compartment also i have these glitter topper shadows from artist couture this is what they look like. I'm pretty sure they're, they're discontinued now. I have a golden hour. We have spotlight glitz. It's like more of a pinky one. And then we have diamond bronze. I love these. I use them all the time. Whenever I do, people always ask me like what's on the uh, client's eyes. And then I have one from Inglot. This one is also the most beautiful bridal shade ever, you guys. This one is in the shade... It's a pure pigment eyeshadow in the shade 115. And this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. I'm sorry my hands are shaking. I just had like coffee and I think a bit too much. So I feel them like shaking. But yeah, this is the shade. It's literally gorgeous. Okay, I have to swatch it for you real quick. <laughs> you have to see it. It is stunning. It sparkles so beautiful. It's like a pinky pearlescent shade. And then in this little compartment here, so you can see a little bit better, I have another mini blush from Mirror Beauty in the shade Peace. And we have the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Love these. They make your eyeshadows last so well. And then we have this random little eyeshadow that I actually love so much. It's called Rebound. Um, look at it. It's insane. It's like a gel formula to be i think it's from revolution and i don't think they sell it anymore what else is new <laughs> but look at it it's incredible it's so beautiful so i have that sometimes they have them at tj maxx then i have this inglot gel liner it's like a brown shade and then we have bobby brown and maybelline um gel eyeliners okay so then we're moving on to the bases and the concealers i find myself not to be much of a primer person um i think a lot of it has to do with like application and the products that you use and that's how your makeup will last sometimes i'll still use a primer depending on the skin concern anyways so i have a couple here we have photo finish by Sm smashbox and minimize pores by smashbox then we have these two foundations from hourglass one is in the shade linen and one is in the shade warm honey then i have a a Lancome foundation. Um, this is in the shade 
360 bisque neutral do you guys see what i mean like i'm not organized when it comes to like skin stuff like but this is what works for me and i know what's what what's where and i don't have a lot of darker skin clients so i don't have a lot of dark foundations i mean i have a lot and i have like really really dark ones but i just don't use them very often and i have different kinds of foundations in my kit as well we have the mattifying nars foundation as well and my main foundations in my kit that i reach for most often are from makeup forever hd skin we have these here a couple of different shades and then i have two from um, estee lauder double wear i have these two these are amazing also for concealers i have dose of colors a few shades here and I have them labeled here, that way I know which ones I need. Then I have a NARS concealer. I have an um, Estee Lauder Double Wear concealer. I love this one. I have a Huda Beauty concealer. I love this one as well. It's so good. I use it often. I have the Lancome concealer. This one is great for like more mature skin. I love using that. And then we have the One Size. Also love that for almost all skin types. Then we have a couple of more depotted foundations here. I have Light 2 from NARS. I hate these containers look at what they're doing i can't wait till i use it up i'm literally gonna throw them away and never buy them again this is what i mean like depotting has not been my thing um it just gets so messy and then we have the bourgeois foundation i love this one for especially mature skin then we have a couple of nars ones and then we have the jane irondale one in bb6 it's like a bb cream and then i have one dark foundation from nars in d2 and then we have a few more concealers i have the mac pro longwear concealer i have this one i forget what it's called mineral something concealer from mac um la girl pro conceal i don't even know why i have this i never reach for it and then i have two from tarte love tarte shape tape and then another shade of the huda beauty concealer this one is really great as a base super high coverage then i have another concealer from juvia's place this is like a really light shade in number two zero another foundation i'm almost done using up and then another foundation i'm almost done using up as well once i use these up i'm throwing the, the uh, containers away because i hate them and then i have a couple of like colored brow gels here and then i have three foundations from face atelier i love this brand so much we have like a really light one a medium one and then a darker one then we have another primer this is the shine control from makeup forever and then we have an eye cream from good molecules here and then i have this touch up shine control from mayron which i tried to use but i don't know if i love it and then i have just like a green concealer from um la girl so i have that and then moving on to my favorite part which is all of the danessa myrix cream tubes my favorite one is romance no i'm lying my favorite one is latte love this shade you can use this for eyes lips cheeks face like anything and they stay on so well they dry down matte and they last forever on the skin if you want longevity in your makeup especially for wedding days highly 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 recommend love this one again it's called latte then i have gingerbread which is like this brown color here then i have this one this one's called rocket and then this one this one's called ballerina and this one pink one here which is called romance then i have a waterproof mascara white one called lift from danessa myrick so you can use it as a pigment pigment mixer for like anything and then one glitter shadow from stila it's called kitten karma and then we have these kits here from artist kit company so i have depotted um craftobian foundations in here that i sometimes reach for and then we have this i like never touch this usually but i bought this single shadow so i'll use that sometimes I don't really reach for those and then this one i love also like a brightening powder for under the eyes and then lastly i have here some lipsticks i've depotted and i to be honest with you once i use this up i don't know if i'm gonna use this um, very much but i have that here and then we have two of my favorite things it's the kiko milano you can get these on amazon or on their website it's a blush and a contour they're like cream blushes and contours and mine is in the shade for contours 201 and for blush it's 05 love these things so much then we have a bronzer palette from juvia's place here i have a couple of shades here then we have one of my favorite palettes 
Wifey from Dose of Colors. Pretty sure it just came out. Love this one. And then we have a, a couple of powders from Jane Irondale. Then I have two bronzers, bronzers from Makeup by Mario, one in deep and one in medium. I have the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I'll use sometimes for somebody who has a lot of texture or pores because this works beautiful. Then I have the Danessa Myricks um, contour, cream contour in the shade deep. Then I have a blush I love so much from Laura Mercier in the shade Ginger. It's so pretty. And a highlight from one size. I think this was like a limited edition one this year. It's like a gold highlight. I love it. Okay, so that is the overview of my kit. Let's move on to my bag. Okay, so then we have this bag here. In this first pocket on the side, I have my brush cleaner, which I usually will refill. I have like a little left there. I have to refill it. Then I have my Max, Mac Fix Plus that I love, so good. Then we have Thayer's Facial Toner, and we have the Micellar Water from Maybelline, or no, not Maybelline, Garnier. Then I have some alcohol spray here that I just keep on top, and then my collapsible trash can that I'll pop up and put like a trash bag in there. So I keep that here as well. Then we have my infamous video light that I use for all photos and videos of my clients and I just carry it in its original packaging. Then I have some makeup removing wipes and then I have some cotton rounds. I love these. I get them on Amazon. And then we have my disposable little kit here and I have some whitening eye drops, some lash glue, the Inglot Duraline, some lip uh, wands, some mascara wands, and then some clips and tweezers in here. And then I have two of my cases which have all of the face brushes. And once I open it on the sides, I use the empty one for dirty brushes and then the clean ones stay in uh, here. But this is all I carry for brushes. And then I have some clean and new sponges here like this that I use for setting the face on clients. And then we have my lip palette. This is from my Kitco. So if you open it up, it has all of my most used pencils, lip pencils. And then I have some of my most used brown uh, pencil liners up here because they're so small. I don't want them to get lost. So I'll just put them there. More lip liners, more lip liners. Oh my God, the sirens, I can't. As I was saying, more lip liners, more lip liners, and my most used lipsticks, liquid lipsticks are here. And then we have the rest of my liquid lipsticks and lip glosses that I use most often on my clients. So this is my lip bag. Then I have this palette here from Patrick Ta, the blush palette, as you guys know. Then I've been loving this. This is the Dear Mom palette from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Been loving this one. Then I have the Naughty palette from Huda Beauty. I just love the shades in here. This is what that one looks like. And lastly, we have the Makeup by Mario lip palette, which is a mess, but you can see I use it very often. And then in the side pockets, I have my trash bags that I put in my collapsible trash can. And then we have a darker setting powder and then another setting powder from Laura Mercier that is uh, kind of like the glowy one that she has. I don't use it very often, but sometimes. And then we have some gum and some more sponges. And then in here, what do I have? Some little bags. I don't even know why they're there. And then this bronzing um, powder for like the body that I'll use sometimes. And then these are my main things I use for my brides if I, they want to glow on their body and skin because these give you like the most beautiful natural glow but they don't transfer. So that's important with a white dress and they don't transfer so that's amazing. And then in this last pocket here, I have some extra disposables here, so. So that is it you guys this was a very realistic what's in my kit this is everything i'll usually carry with me sometimes of course i'll switch out some products if i know i have like darker clients i'll pack my like darker stuff that i have in my studio right there i'll just or and in my house too i have makeup there and there so I'll switch out some things for sure like makeup palettes like foundations you know you know how it is when you buy any makeup you're going to add it into your kit some things you're going to take out but that is usually everything i carry that is what i'm taking to my wedding that i have this weekend so that is it you guys i will link the chair that i always bring with me and use also down um, in the description box i'll link everything most of the things you can get on amazon 
and yeah so that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions at all and i'll see you in my next one bye guys